So we're going to try something fancy and new here. I like fancy things. Click here. Not really a URL. Let's see if this works. All right. Actually, let's go ahead and start this in studio mode. Now, Brain is archetype, I mean, it's kind of interesting that we've seen two of the same ones in the top um, uh, in the top tables here, uh, which, I mean, like, this is an archetype that I've honestly never really seen. Mm -hmm. um, is it, are they both, like, West Coast guys, and they just have their own meta over here? Yeah, I've seen, the first place I saw this was actually in Ohio during store championship season. Oh, interesting. Yeah, this high PS uh, Rebels thing. Yeah. Where you have, like, you know, the old coordinate with Kraken, and then you have, uh, I guess, Wedge, because he just, you know, reduces agil agility, makes it really hard-hitting. Um, I, I, I like this one better than the concession for the extra munitions on Nim. Um, I think extra munitions on Nim is probably the way to go, especially if you're running, um, uh, you're running Genius? Yeah, um, Trajectory. So then you could, you could technically get uh, two... Um, uh, football throw genius things if you wanted it, I guess. Right? No. No, never mind. You can't do that anymore. <laughs> okay. I'm trying to do a new thing here, guys. Give me a second. <laughs> oh, you're doing like a, like a poll? Yeah, a like? poll that can pop up there. That's cool. All right, so let's go ahead and try to do our um, our predictions of the game. Give me a one for Randy and a two for Brandon. Who do you think will win? And uh, if this worked, that should pop up. Well, it should pop up right there on that fancy little box there. Ooh, it's working. It's oh. magic. Oh, my God. That's, that's amazing. That's really cool. Oh, my God. 50-50. <laughs> I'm so excited. That's awesome. So I guess it just reads. Reads uh, the numbers. That is cool. Fancy. All right. So leaning towards Brandon. Get your votes in. Do it. I mean, uh, you know, whenever you see, like, not Kylo in the silencer, everyone, you know, is, is fairly um, uh, lukewarm. Suspicious. Yeah, like lukewarm <laughs> on it. And... I mean, the consistency that these things get is pretty impressive. Um, they're pretty much almost always fully modified, or they can use their their action to reposition. Um, and, uh, and you know, they always have the fire control system for, for consistent um, offensive output. And then you have Quick Draw, who's just a pain. Okay, this is really cool watching this. Uh, yeah, it is, isn't this? That's, yeah. that's awesome. 18 people have voted so far. <laughs> Leaning towards Randy. We get more accurate votes. Unfortunately, this only works through Twitch, though. It doesn't work in the YouTube chat. Ah. So that's that's the catch. It's 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 awesome what they're what they're adding in, uh, you know, with with all this new technology for streaming and stuff. Go ahead and make that a little smaller. Get it out of the way. Yeah. So it looks like we got a a pretty pretty loose set of rocks here, um, and uh, I haven't had the the pleasure of, of watching Randy play, but um, when we were just uh, my friend and I were playing a practice match earlier. He's he said he basically tries to um, joust things most of the time, but I, I don't think that's going to be the the call for this uh, this kind of match because um, one he has a pretty good idea of what he's going to see. Yep. Um, and, and you know, I will say this is a different approach than all the other games. He's 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 been on three games on stream this mm -hmm. weekend. Everything else, his opening move with those silencers is five straight. forward. Yep. Just go. Yep. And um, yeah, so he's uh, he he doesn't want to joust. No, no, so, you, this so is not a jousting list. So that show what what I like that that shows even though on the other streams we've seen him just kind of go five forward, just kind of go at it. Mm -hmm. 
Randy is making decisions here. Yeah, yeah, he's, yeah. He's not just YOLOing in there. Yeah. Uh, well, and, you know, obviously he's a he's a pretty good player, top forward. Top open. forward, yeah. Um, and uh, you know the the dial that these that the silencers have is just so good. Um, and it looks like we have a trajectory bomb, I guess, just to go ahead and uh, pop stuff out. Yeah, this is a, a I've seen you know people playing this list, and that's just a, something consistent on that first turn is them just kind of throwing just uh, throwing the bomb and create a no go zone. Yeah. I can, I can see that. I, I've I'm never I'm really bad at bombing. Mm -hmm. So um, whenever I see people do this, I'm like I don't I don't understand what you're doing. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> well, so um, we're gonna go ahead and close down this poll in about 30 seconds. Go ahead and give us your uh, give us your vote. Actually, you know what? We should probably stop it at the first engagement, right? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that's that's a good spot. Okay. Yeah. We'll we'll keep it going to the first engagement. If you haven't voted, get your votes in here as things start to unfold. Yeah, because it'll be you know it may change based on uh, if someone makes a mistake with their with their early, uh, pre engagement maneuver um, mm -hmm. and then get caught up in a kill box or something. Um, so you know cause you you have the experience of watching this last match. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. <laughs> what um, do you? I mean, do you think that you just try and, and rip the band aid off and get quick draw out of the way um, as fast as then you have all higher PS stuff and you can just kind of do whatever you need to do. Yeah, so from my my experience, I, I think it's this is mostly a, a target of opportunity list. Yeah. It's what will you give me? All right, kill it. I can get all three of those mm -hmm. in my arc. Let's just shoot all the missiles. Yeah. Uh, to answer a question in the chat here, uh, what's on the other table? We have Nathan Knighty flying his Corrin, um, Loric, and Fen list versus Ghost Fen. Mm -hmm. um, and it's the Lothal variant, I mm -hmm. believe. Ooh, yes. It looks like he may clip this rock here. Uh oh That would be the first rock I, hit. I see him hit. It's close, and yes, that's going to be on the rock. Uh, yep, yep. Looks like the back edge, a uh, little clip there. Brandy maybe showing some fatigue here. Yep. Oh, no, I guess it didn't. What? Wow, that must have been really close, because from, from here it just looked like he was just right on it. So maybe maybe no fatigue. Maybe he, maybe he's uh, so zoned he's in. He is in the zone. <laughs> he's so in the zone. All right, so going around the long way. So it looks like the, uh, you know, we still have a pretty pretty overwhelming uh, um, vote here in Randy's favor. Yep, and here, here's the thing, uh, and this got brought up in the chat. When I've seen Daryl play this list and a couple other people, this opening bomb mm -hmm. can hurt if, because Randy is doing the great thing here, he disengaged. He's going to come around. And he's going to have an engagement where that bomb's going to be in range one of all his other ships too. Yeah. So oh. now, now if you end up like dropping other bombs, now you have to make choices. Like mm -hmm. being just kind of willy nilly with the bombs can can definitely hurt. Yeah. Like now, again, you know, I'm, I'm not really good with bombing, but like I I don't understand like because there's there's not enough of a no go zone. For him, because he already saw where the where the specialists were moving to, or the analysts, excuse me, and um, I mean, so there, I don't. I mean, I guess I just don't see the reason why you just drop one there. But uh, you never know. Uh, you know, if if he's gonna try and go into like a joust, then that's when you hold it and um, and do that. And you know, it's it's very interesting if he's going to if Randy's gonna try and dangle uh, this last one out there and then run away with it once uh, he sets up all of his locks. All right. So we're going to go ahead and uh, after this, during this planning phase, we'll close down this poll because we're probably going to get our first engagement here. Yep. Uh, and I, I think um, I, I think here you probably, I mean, you still have a pretty good engagement um, for uh, uh, for Randy here because he can, he can run in and try and block with one and, and muddle up the channel. So... You know, if he wants to drop that bomb, then he's going to have to do it and hit everything. Um, and then maybe try and flank with the other one? I'm not entirely sure. <laughs> Everyone, New toys. Uh, yeah, that, that pole thing is pretty cool. All right, we'll continue doing that. Go ahead. Uh... 
So Randy has the advantage in the pole. We'll see what the dice and the maneuvers uh, end up saying here. Well, and, and you know, when you run these kind of ships that are relatively fragile, that that live and die on their uh, their evade dice. Mm -hmm. Variants, um, baby. Uh, you know, uh, sometimes it'll uh, it'll go cold on you. So, um, okay, so not going in for like a really um, really aggressive move here. Yeah. Randy is doing what he did against Daryl as well. Is he's he's going to try to make that bomb hurt Brandon so that he can't let it go off. Okay. And it's, he's preventing him from shooting off another one, too, because, like, if Aaron Kraken, who, uh, sorry, um, Wedge, who who's at the top, mm -hmm. turns in, if he can't throw this bomb because he'll just be, you know, yeah. hit Wedge. Looks like he went and target locked uh, Nim. Mm-hmm. That, that's the heaviest hitter in this list. Yeah, because he's running uh, harpoon missiles, of course. Um, yeah, so I, I mean, I guess with uh, with that, you uh, um, you know, you just try and get rid of the thing that could probably give you the most trouble. Yeah. Um, really, the bombs are the are always the problem because uh, bomblet is silly. <laughs> yes, it's going to be so much more fair. Yes. <laughs> Yelling in the room and asking for a Mike Hill. Mike Hill, if you ever watch this YouTube video. They were asking. They were asking for you. You missed it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here's the one bank from Nim. Right, so no, uh, no genius or, or no trajectory simulator. Mm -mm. Uh, football. Now with Brandon here, just because he doesn't have uh, long range scanners, he's really relying on his guidance chips to. Uh, to, to get his extra modification in. Um, I mean, even though he has, you know, he has the, the, the target lock from Harpoons, but Wedge, Wedge for the most part, is going to be the big thing. Uh, and Flight Assist, interesting. I guess, yeah, that, that actually really helps. Um, Just get, get, get that guy in range yeah. so he can get his target lock. Mm -hmm. So that back, um, that's sidearm number two. Let's go ahead and add some, some numbers here. Oops, not number four. Number three. There we go. So, oops. Oh, I'm just breaking moving. stuff. We're <laughs> moving the whole world. <laughs> the world's moving. Sorry about that, guys. <laughs> <laughs> so that's number two. That's number three. Go ahead and edit on overlay. It looks like we have a bunch of target locks on number two and not number three. I guess because he's afraid that um, that's probably a range one with um, mm -hmm. uh, on to number three. So he wants to try and get everything off. Uh, but it looks like two, definitely two of those shots are going to be range three probably. So he'll get the auto thrusters for the defense. Um, obviously keeping that uh, that bomb in place. Quick draw's ability probably goes off in this turn from a harpoon splash. Ooh, yeah, that's actually a good setup too. Um, for for u utilizing his ability, assuming that he doesn't get two uh, shields off of him, because then you can. Uh, oh yeah, that's definitely a range one. Wow, that was way closer. All right, so here is quick draw. That's an inter interesting way to roll dice. Yeah, he he likes that cup. All right, so. Uh, chips. Chips. All right, there we go. Maybe not. I'm confused. Uh, I was, was just three dice, and then you change it to a crit. Right, that was quick. Oh, throw. oh, um, it was it landed on a crit, and the other one. Oh, the other he, one. He moved. nicked it. Yeah. Got it. Yeah. Got it. So triple crits. Yeah. So. Who uh, was he shooting? He was shooting at Nim on his. Yeah, assuming? it was Nim. Yeah, there you go. Two, two shields. Yep. Uh, so it looks like we have a uh, plasma torp happening here, uh, trying to see if it's uh, auto thrusters range. All right, Ooh, Ooh, that'll do it. There you go. Two hits, two crits. Just use the guidance chips. Oh, wait, this is Aaron Kraken first. Yep. Kraken first is the harpoon missile. Oh, man. Into a crit. That is, that is nasty. All right, he has the focus. He's going to yep. use it. He's going to take one crit. Yep, and uh, that'll apply harpoon. Um, and uh, just one shield. No, but Randy being able to bait that out. Uh, mm -hmm. Likes that. Let's see if Brandon remembers his uh, his Aaron Kraken trigger. Uh, 
waiting for it. He just pulled that missile. See, yep, there and it there's is. the focus. Yep. For Wedge. Here comes Nim next. Oh, so he's made like uh, he's making sure that that uh ooh yeah and there's the there's the easy chips right there for three and a crit. Mm-hmm. So that'll trigger harpoon for sure. Ooh. And doesn't look like there's any auto thrusters here. So that's gonna be hit hit harpoon crit. Ooh man that is uh so it'll be a shield damage card and then a uh, crit. So he'll be at one hull. If it's a double damage, he's dead. Man, that's uh, that could be a, a pretty rough start here. Um, and Wedge hasn't even shot yet. Yeah. <laughs> he should have one. And then Quick Draw loses one. Yep. And the other Sinar loses one. Oh, yeah, and then the, <laughs> then the Harpoon triggers, too. Well, oh, my gosh. I, that, that's what I was trying to do the math and then uh, uh, loose stabilizers. No direct, so he's still alive for Wedge to shoot at him and kill him. Um, and then that reapplies the harpoon, doesn't it? Yes, it does. I think he dealt too many cards. I think there was a mistake there. Yep, there it is. That one should be the crit. Yep. And weapons, weapons failure. Weapons failure, okay. okay. So he's got one health left. And then Wedge is going to uh, probably seal this deal here. Uh, but uh, uh, are they going to shoot with quick draw first? That is the question. Uh, yeah, it looks like we got a quick draw shot going. Hit. Target lock. So this is the retali retaliatory shot. Yep. Spends a focus, two hits and a crit. Uh, looks like back into Nim. That's all going to hit. Yep. Shields are gone on Nim. Okay. So it's, it's turning into an okay trade at this point, but I mean... Uh, you still want you still want that last one to shoot, even even though it probably won't have the opportunity. Wedge will get at least one hit on the pro on the uh, plasma torpedo. One, at least one. One, one would assume. Yes. <laughs> Unless chips. he forgets chips. <laughs> nah. <laughs> I'll pass. Uh, it doesn't look like he's going to get auto thrusters on this either. No, but that's range too. Yeah. Hmm. That's uh, that's a tough one right there. So Brandon can decide to just go primary. He did, the guy only does have one um, I, dice I, left and I leave the right plasma. I think right here you, I think you, you double down and you just make sure you take one off the board. I like um, it. It would be, it's, it's risky for sure, but he does have target lock focus. Yeah. yeah. And, and he's only two dice, range two. Uh, actually, yeah, maybe, maybe you don't. Let's go for um, it. Because then you could use the plasmas um, to strip the rest of quick draw shields. Uh-huh. Um, I don't know. That's actually pretty. That's I'm a good. Uh, I think I'm in on the primary. Yeah, I, I'm. You, you've you've changed my mind. <laughs> I did it. Yeah. Now, if he was range three, you definitely you definitely do the ordinance. You don't give him the auto thrusters and stuff. But all right, here we go. And that's the primary. Yep. Spend the focus for three hits. Yeah, there it is. He only gets two dice because of and wedge's ability. Guaranteed dead. Yep. Dead. And wedge's ability uh, um, pays off there. Um. Oh, and then um, extra damage going out to the other two. Uh, so now Quick Draw has one shield off, and the other one has no shields. So pretty, pretty rough start here for Randy. Um, I bet he, you know he's hoping that maybe he could get into that uh, that range three for auto thrusters to, to help mitigate some of that damage. But uh, uh, Brandon rolled quite hot. And here's that Sinar range one into Nim. He does have a target lock and a focus. He's going to get three hits. Yep. And Nim will take all three. Really needed a crit in there for. So he's sitting at two? Yeah. So here's the thing trading a Sinar, if, he, if Quick Draw can kill Nim this turn before, before he shoots, shoots. It's actually not a bad trade. It is not a bad trade at all. We're still even. Yeah. And, and you know, you s well, I was going to say you have a full health, but you have a four health. Uh, Sinar left, and then uh, Quick Draw, who still does have his ability one more time. So now we're going to put up another poll after the first engage. Oh, now we're now we're just utilizing this technology. Correct. <laughs> who do you think's ahead? <laughs> or who who will win now? 
Yeah, because with, uh, with Nim being at two hull um, and Quick Draw being able to possibly PS kill Nim, it's actually a pretty good, uh, could be a pretty good trade. Um, undecided yet, though. And the, the signer really doesn't have any type of good vector to, uh, to ensure an arc next turn, unless he wanted to Talon roll, and I don't think he could fit it. Uh, not quite yet. Don't start voting yet. I don't have it ready. Oh, no. Uh, 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 uh. There it goes. Okay. Now you can vote. Now you can vote. <laughs> I wasn't ready. <laughs> I said it. I, so those of you who voted already, go ahead. So does it, uh, I'm assuming it reads uh, uh, usernames as well, so that you can't vote multiple times. Yeah, it says unique, votes. unique votes ah. right there. All right, so there's still people who still have faith in Randy keeping their original vote, but it's definitely starting to lean towards Brandon. Yep. Well, and I mean that's the thing. I mean the the Sinar spe uh, analyst can still, um, is still consistently good damage, and um, it's, I mean like sometimes it's hard to hit him. And uh, Kraken doesn't have a harpoon anymore. So he's just a normal Z95 that has a good ability, and then Nim only has two health left. Uh, so I, th I think you probably slow roll here with uh, with quick draw, or maybe you go for the sloop to to catch him from trying to bump into you. Well, no, never mind, because he moves last, so everything will bump him. <laughs> yeah. So we are we're at fifty fifty people. Oh, Randy is still pulling ahead in the voting. <laughs> people are really like, wait, he could PS kill. Yep. He so the bomb is active um, here now. Nim probably drops. Another one, maybe lets them both blow up. Could Probably, yeah. Especially because it's going to be your, it could your kill quick draw. last turn. Um, what's the K? Do the do they have a five K on the um, on the silencer? On the silencer? No, it's a four no? K. Okay, four K. All right, so we're going to see dials now. We're going to finish that poll. Let's we'll see. Let's see what happens. Here's the four K. So he's just going to he's going to say, "I'm going to accept that bomb." Um, and uh, so that means he's Nim's probably going to drop two bombs onto it. Oh yeah. To try and get the uh, get the kill before it can even shoot. Now if uh, if if the Sinar dies from the from the bomb, it's, uh, Quick Draw has a big mountain to climb, uh, especially with uh, being one or two shields down already. All right, here comes. Nim, you're grabbing that bomblet. Yep, and there's the uh, there's the. Oh, awesome! I don't have it right now. Can you? Are you leaving yet? H hit him before you leave. We got uh, two bombs going down onto the Sinar. Uh, hopefully, he rolls bad or good. It depends on uh, who you want to vote for. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, at this point, I, w I wouldn't even drop the bomb unless there's any chance that anything else is going to be in range one. Right. And I just rolled the dice, but... Um, well, the quick draw might be close. Maybe that's... Yeah, oh, way. yeah, that is true. He might just be letting him, like, oh, that might be close. Yeah. Doesn't want doesn't want to accept it. Yeah, and there there's the... Uh, the to try and catch the slow roll block. Um, so Nim does not die this turn, possibly. Mm-hmm. This is when you you hope you uh, on quick draw you dial it in a two straight um, to to jump over and then possibly catch something in front and back arc so then you can double tap twice if they uh, um, if yeah. they try and hit you front back front back yep you do have to shoot out the front first that's in the rules yes you do. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like we're we're waiting on Nim's action. Yeah, I, th I think you just focus here. That's all you really can do. Auto blaster um, turret is going to be. Um, oh, he has an auto blaster, not even a TLT. Oh my does. gosh. Yeah, so if if Nim is allowed to shoot, is a bad time for uh, um, for quick draw. Yeah, we could lose. <laughs> Randy could lose both of his ships on this turn. Yep. Uh, so Maybe less so with this ki with the barrel roll. Yeah. We'll see where where quick draw goes. I guess I play against a lot of quick draws, but I'm so used to them trying to just slow roll mm -hmm. and um and, and be an M3A interceptor and just be as 
in mm. front of you as possible. I'm here. <laughs> Look at me. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes, they are all all ten. Sorry about that. Bink. I hate adaptability. <laughs> it's, it's, it's such a thorn thorn in my side. <laughs> Because it shows up wrong in the overlay, yeah. minus one, and then I have to manually do it. Yep, because uh, if you put veteran instincts, it just automatically puts it, it does. there. It yeah. does. So we have a, a pretty solid kill box here going for um, Let's see, quick the, draw. the one bank or the one forward would be... One forward, yep. Nice, all right. So he, he will get the double tap here, um, which, I mean, uh, you could pro you'll probably kill Nim. Uh, with the double tap, mm -hmm. uh, range three or three dice and three dice, um, and you'll you'll hammer Kraken for it. But uh, Raiden's got to run uh, roll. All um, right, is the bomb in, in range of Kraken? It is not. Nope. So we got uh, four dice. Four coming. dice coming into that. Is he, is he gonna roll them two at a time? Yes. Nothing. Nothing. Ooh, okay. Man, Randy and these bomblets. He's been missing them all. Ooh. Oh, not that. That it's all right. <laughs> Hickory. <laughs> he spoke too soon on that one. Opposite. He got odds though, right? Fifty-fifty. Yeah. Ooh, direct, direct hit. hit. Okay, so he has to kill Nim now. He's well, never mind. Nim, Nim can't even shoot him anyways because he doesn't have TLT. Yeah, one hole left on that Sinar specialist. Uh, but sometimes one hole is all you need. <laughs> that's that's right. Um, At the end of the game, yes, it he absolutely. He could probably he could probably kill Nim and Kraken this turn. Mm-hmm. Because he's going to get three dice uh, on both sides here. Mm -hmm. uh, quick draw is going to eat a lot of damage. Oh, though. oh yeah. You want quick draw to live, hopefully, through yeah. this. So shot number one Ooh. has to be at Aaron Kraken. Hit, there's, hit, crit. There's the money. Hit, crit. That's going to be two shields. Yep. Then uh, we have the double tap going into Nim here. And looks like we're going to target lock that. Fire control, baby. And guaranteed. Ooh, that Nim is gone. Yep. And he takes all the damage. That's huge. And now when the retaliation shot happens from quick draw, she's just going to do normal shot out the front. So she'll have four dice yep. at, ra now, at range uh, one. Notice he did not move his fire control system um, on uh, for Kraken. Mm -hmm. So he's going to be shooting essentially naked. Yeah. Because uh, you probably want to use the um, you probably want to use the focus here to for uh, defense. For defense. Yep. Yeah. We got that crowd starting to form around that top table. Yep. Uh, People staying nice and loose here in California. <laughs> it's very Californian of them. I know that's being totally like. I don't know uh, the state of um, Nathan ID and Noel's game, but um, the ghost is still alive, and I do not see Corin dead. So. Three hits and Ooh. quick draw whips. He wants. He's like, oh, I'm gonna have to spend the focus. I mean, you pretty much have to here. Yep. You you have to try and survive as long as you can. Oh, he keeps it, and he's gonna take all the damage, just to I guess to try and get Kraken off the board. Yeah, get something, because that Sinar is more expensive. No, uh, no, it's not. Never no. mind. Never mind. I try I try to do a thing, and it's wrong. It's super close, but ooh, hit hit crit. That focus didn't matter. And oh, and uh, Kraken dies. So quick draw at one hole. Yep. Kraken is dead. Comes down to the <laughs> Rogue Squadron Ace, Wedge Antilles. Uh, now with flight assist, it's going to make it pretty, uh, looks like a range two. Yep. Um, uh, and he still will get lightweight frame, but it'll just be two dice this time. Oof. So two uh, with the I, focus. I'd say that that hits. Oh, oh, but well, it doesn't matter. Frame, um, frame. Wait, what? Uh, no, because he um, he he got three hits, and I mean, just the that was just the maximum. But he had a focus. But he had two. Why did he get two? Oh, cause wedge. Wedge. Yeah. Cause wedge. wedge it would be one plus one. Yeah. Got it. Cause wedge. I was like, what? What? what, 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 what uh, numbers. <laughs> what? A, okay, so we watched um, literally both lists just get decimated in two turns. Yes. <laughs> We got 49 yep. minutes left in the round. <laughs> this is Wedge versus <laughs> <laughs> versus a one health Sinar specialist. Yep. Um, it looks like uh, Randy may have forgotten to put fire control system um, on his shot, which was just uh, essentially blanks. Yep. Um, which could be a really big factor here. Um, 
So he, yeah, here, oh man. So with Wetch here, do you just, I mean, cause he still has his plasma. Yep. Um, do you just K turn and, uh, and just go for the joust or, um, man, what do you, what do you do here? I Wedge? do, I do not know. <laughs> <laughs> I do not know. Well, see, the thing is that Wedge is full, right? Yeah. So I, I guess you, um, actually, no, you probably, you probably go ahead and turn in. I like to turn because most likely, um, I, I want to get set up a target lock. Yeah, yeah. You, you turn in, get the target lock set up. Uh, looks like you're barely not going to hit that rock. Um, Brain and then you can out use, of well, you mind. can use flight assist to, to get yourself around too. Um, so uh, Brain is sitting in a really good spot here for um, for his end game. One forward to victory, maybe. Yep. That looks like more than a one. Ooh, f ooh, he did the K. He did the K. Okay. All right. Okay. <laughs> well, he he does have some health to spare, yep. assuming that you know he doesn't blank out and there's lots of crits on the board. But um, so he, he does have some that he can use, and uh, I guess at this point you're just trying to get that damage in. Yep. And Brand is leaning on Wedge's ability, minus yeah. one agility. Yep. And here come maybe some natties. I don't know. Uh, two. two. Uh, uh, look, maybe cocked. Uh, maybe I not. I do not know. Oh, he's rerolling it. Three. Oh, three. That's, that's uh, guaranteed. guaranteed. That's yep. the game. Wow. Uh, that was uh, a quick match. Randy's uh, like, I, <laughs> I, can't, I couldn't do it again. <laughs> <laughs> I tried so hard. Um, yeah, so uh, one one heck of a, uh, a top four there. Uh, that was three rounds of combat total. Yeah, three <laughs> rounds of combat. <laughs> Absolutely. You know what? L we're going to have some fun here. We're going to have some fun with some polls, I think. Well, we have 47 <laughs> minutes. Why not? I want to play with this. This is fun. How wrong did you think you were after you watched this? <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll talk, we can talk about some 2.0 stuff. But before we go too far, I do need to say thank all the thank yous. Got to say thank you to our largest group of supporters, and that's our patrons. Thank you so much. You, if you want to join the largest group of people who support Gold Quadrant Podcast and made this whole venture possible, Go to gold. Go to patreon.com slash gold squadron. Thank you to our Twitch Prime subscribers. All of you who've taken the time to connect your Amazon account to, to Twitch and click that button, giving away free money. Thank you to those. And just a reminder: anybody who has done it in the past, it renew. You have to do it every 30 days. If you it doesn't auto renew, so if you haven't done that yet, please go ahead and take the time to do it. Thank you to Cascade Game for providing us the space and all the things we need. And of course, thank you to our sponsor for the weekend, Curl Paw Creatives. Courtesy of Andrew Knuckles, the CEO of of the cat company that does acrylics. I actually thought it was a wolf for a long time. Not gonna oh, lie. really? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that symbol. I was, I was like, oh, that's a cool wolf token. <laughs> it's actually modeled after my cat. Oh, okay. Um, Turns out your cat is half dog. It's fine. <laughs> thank you to Chewbacca40 for clicking that Twitch Prime button. And, yeah, uh, thank you to Curled Paul. And, of course... Gurry for life. Gurry for life. <laughs> $5 off of a $20 order or more. Uh, let's move some stuff around here. So <laughs> This guy, he <laughs> is Curled Paul. Let's see it right there. He's a meme. <laughs> yeah, it's just it's <laughs> my face now. It's fine. <laughs> so let's see. Let's, let me uh, pull thingamajig. Let's talk about 2.0 since we're here, yeah? Sure, why not? All uh, right. We, we can do a mini podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Mini cast. We'll, we'll, we'll just clip out the audio, we'll toss it on there. We don't have to. We don't have to rec even record no. this week. Take yeah, take a break, done. right? I'm gonna pull up the. I'm sure Stephen and Joel will be happy that right. we don't have to record this week. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Open that up. <laughs> Somebody said the money grab, boo. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So I'm gonna go ahead and type type it first before I tell you guys what the poll is. I was like, looking where you were typing. It's like, oh, it's right over there. Yeah, I think it's probably just gonna be way easier if I just do this. Drag it in front of my face. Oh, I can see what I'm doing. Check that out. Uh, while you're doing that, yep. I'm going to go look at uh, ID's match. Go and, for uh, it. Let us update. know how it is. Okay. So with s second edition coming up, there's a lot of people who are going to be flying only one faction. Or maybe stick to a preferred faction now that we're going to be branching out into five. My question to start is... What faction, if you're going to pick only one, are you planning on flying? 
if you could only pick one, I know there's going to be people who, who do multiple, who even buy into all three, but if you only had one choice, what faction are you going for? Go ahead, drop that in there. A one, a two, or a three um, are your options there. One for Rebels, two for Empire, three for Scum. What's your vote? And we're going to get our, our update here. Okay, so um, uh, Lorik... Uh, this is on Nathan Di Nathan Nathan's list right now. Uh, mm -hmm. Lorik is dead. Okay. Um, Corrin has one damage card on it, um, but is far enough away to regen the rest of his shields. He has one shield and one card. Okay. Uh, no crit. And um, Fen is still running full health um, on ID's side. And then uh, for Noel, you have uh, the ghost is still alive, but half point. Okay. Um, uh, is Fen alive? Uh, Fen is dead. Ooh, okay. Um, and uh, the ghost is in pursuit of getting Fen right now. Okay. So okay, so we're doing a, a faction faction yeah. poll here. Yeah. So so here, Andrew, what uh, scum, right? Like, oh, oh yeah, absolutely. Right, okay. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. No, sc scum scum is going to be the uh, um, uh, pretty much the one and only uh, faction that I fly, especially now that I've seen uh, Guri's ability mm -hmm. and the the chassis for the Star Viper. It, um, looks, a little bit, it looks a lot better. Yeah. Well, and, and her getting a boost uh, to Initiative 5, um, uh, which is equivalent to PS8, I guess. Right. Um, it, it was such a big, I mean, it's such a big thing for her. Um, and uh, and her having her uh, basically her same ability, uh, I'm, I'm really excited for it. Uh, I, now, I will say this. I do want to fly some B-Wings at some point. Okay. Um, because uh, B-Wings are one of my favorite uh, designs from the original trilogy. So um, I, I'm excited for those. What about you? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> like, it, it's something I've been struggling with. Like, lately, because I've been flying a lot of Empire, people have been identifying me. Oh, you're an Empire player. I'm like, no, nah, I don't. I had a str I, I have a, I don't know my identity. Yeah. I don't know. Okay, that's, that's fair. I don't know. Like, I started the game playing Rebels because, like, yeah, Star Wars, the good yeah. guys, right? <laughs> and then I immediately good jumped. Good guys. Right. I immediately jumped to Scum because I was like, the Jump Master seems cool. Yeah. And then it turns out everybody hated me because I jumped <laughs> to play the Jump Master. Your and bandwagoner. Uh, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> but, no, see, <laughs> I'm going to tell you this. I, I flew Dengaroo before that before whole. Before it was cool. Be before <laughs> it was cool. Before the whole Nationals thing. <laughs> All right. I figured that crap out. Actually, figured it out on accident. So we were doing a um, a tournament called the Fully Loaded Tournament, mm -hmm. where you could bring any ships you wanted, but you had to fill every upgrade slot. Uh -huh. And I was like, "Well, two ships." And I was like, "Oh, let's just do the two Jump Masters." And it was Manaru and Dengar, yep. and it just decked, <laughs> decked them all down, out. Yeah. Now it wasn't the the exact build that first time, but I started I'm like, "Hey, wait, this actually kind of works." And I was yeah. trying to figure pass the target lock and the focus to this guy. He gets to shoot twice. That yeah, was it. Was kind of crazy. Uh, Dion is a hipster confir confirmed. <laughs> yeah, for sure. I'm. Uh, I mean, the, I mean, the Empire looks looks still pretty good. Um, uh, but I, I'm not. I've never been really good at like flying like a uh, traditional arc dodger ships. Uh -huh. um, uh, Guri's a little bit different because she's kind of a brawler. Mm -hmm. um, and with the you know with the viper rolls and stuff like that, it makes it a little bit easier. Um, but I'm also really excited to hopefully put a YV um, back on the table. Yeah. Um, especially like Morala's ability. I we play, So I don't know if you saw. Did you see the video that we did? No. Uh, playing Morala. I played Morala. Oh, really? It was Morala, Asajj, and uh, Torquil Mux. I don't know if that's actually going to fit. Like we did a yeah. bunch of like yeah, point yeah, assuming stuff. But it was it was awesome. Yeah. I mean, like his ability looks awesome um and then the the yv chassis basically is unchanged but yep. with the with the drawback uh or them pulling back a lot of the dice mods mm -hmm. um and really like heavy ordnance um specific kind of things like the the yv could should probably be pretty good uh, I'm, I'm excited for it yeah i'm excited for it so our gold squadron special i'm curious to see if it's going to be any good so this was um when x7 defenders first became a thing mm -hmm. this is how we we countered it and we would blow up a defender a turn so we had <laughs> we <laughs> it was great we had the Trandoshan Slaver with Bosk, Gunner, and Zuckus. Uh -huh. All right. And then you had just a TLTY with Tor and then Torquil Mux with TLT and just a, a naked Z95. And it would just be like, you're a zero. Everybody shoot it. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> well, that, I mean, that's kind of uh, that's kind of what uh, um, how uh, Steven and I made the um, 
uh, the Murder Boss list. Yes. Um, that was uh, IG uh, IGB with IGD crew and Gunner and Dengar on Bosk yep. with the Mangler cannon. So then you could shoot basically if you miss one time, you get to shoot twice yep. with with Bosk and. Uh, um, that that was my solution to fighting against X7 defenders. Because yeah. I was like, I'm tired of all the tokens. I'm just going to strip all the tokens. It's fine. I'm going to shoot you three times. <laughs> <laughs> You're I mean, dead. Then, then look, I'm, I'm, even I'm running the, a boss turn. There you go. You see? <laughs> but you see, I, I he, but you, you, you need to get a Guri shirt. I know those are harder to find. Yeah, well, um, I, I'm Is actually debating on just uh, making my own. <laughs> Okay. Yeah. Well, I mean, you know, it, it helps that I I am a designer, so Correct. I can I can just like make my own stuff whenever I feel like it. Um, yep. But uh, yeah, no, I'm I'm debating on just making a Gurry shirt because uh, she's turned into my spirit animal at this point. Okay. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah. So yeah, it looks like uh, a lot of people are gonna be flying rebels, probably X wings. I'm assuming. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, X wings are really cool. Don't get me wrong. I'm probably honestly gonna start with five X. Yeah. I'm well, gonna start with five. I like that just looks that just looks awesome on the table. Well, and I, I know you've you know you've done a couple test uh, things with it, but I'm really excited just for whenever Wave 14 comes out. Yes. and I can just fly you know just put that's, five X wings on the board with IA and uh, that's FAA. My list. Yeah, oh, I'm I'm super excited. I already have my five X wings painted, ready to go. <laughs> I I only have four right now, <laughs> um, so I have to find a I have to find a fifth one. Oh, I I borrowed them from people. I'm like you you don't use it. I'm taking yeah. it. Well, and I don't—I definitely don't have enough uh, fly distance cards, so I'm just going to use all my alt art, alt -art ones. That's until right. <laughs> so I can just borrow them from other people. Like they're fine. <laughs> it's fine. Leave, yeah. it, leave, leave me alone. Yeah. Well, assuming that we actually have a store championship season, um, then I'll probably be just be running that because it'll be fun with five ships on the board. All of that can move really fast. Mm-hmm. Uh, it looks like uh, Nathan's match is still going on. Uh, Ghost is still on the table. So, um, but. We got two judges watching the table right now. Yep. Yeah, the, the one thing I, I will like, I, I do like about you know some of these higher higher matches, like when you get in the cut and stuff, is that most of the time you'll have a dedicated judge to sit there and watch you. So mm -hmm. if you forget something, which uh, you know it can happen uh, unintentionally um, or intentionally, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> as long as you're not on the stream, I don't know. Right. <laughs> um, but, uh, you know, like, so they can, you know, they'll tell you, hey, you know, that's not the thing. Or it's like, hey, can you just check this arc for me? That mm -hmm. kind of stuff. And it's, it's really nice. Um, instead of having to, you know, raise your hand and call people. It's just conversation math for me. Rebels. Conversion? Conversion. <laughs> oh, conversion. <laughs> Reading's hard, did you know? <laughs> uh, conversion math for me. Rebels are the faction I have the most ships for. And a single conversion will cover all my ships. So it makes sense to start from there yeah. and buy the others. I really enjoy it. I, 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 yeah. I can understand that. And, well, and I think, too, um, you know, obviously because Scum's only been out for so long, and then uh, a lot of the players that may or may or not be coming back from, you know, a hiatus or whatever, um, most of probably most of their collection actually is Rebels. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, because I, I had a ton of Rebels before, um, before I decided that I was just going to buy all three factions because I'm crazy. Right, um, and then then I then I got really crazy, and I was like, I'm just gonna buy like five star vipers. Why not? Yeah, because um, that's that's all oh, my I'm auto thrusters. Yeah, uh, <laughs> <laughs> that's that's what a sane person does, right? right? <laughs> it's fine. You had them. You had your ten auto thrusters for epic. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Just in case you know, I ever play epic ever. Epic is awesome. I I've <laughs> I've played one match of epic, and it took four hours, and I was like, I can't I can't do it. You gotta put the time. It's a three-hour timer, and <laughs> that one hour makes a difference. It really does. <laughs> but see, here's the mistake that a lot of people make: is they'll start on like because it's a six foot by three, right? They'll yeah. start on opposite sides with like the big ships, and they move really slow. So yeah, like you're just, it's like an hour and a half before of getting you get, get close. Get, yeah. get, <laughs> crap. Well, and we yeah because we yeah, we did that and. Um, but I, I, like I guess whenever we played it, this was way earlier on. Mm -hmm. um, I guess we didn't understand that there was a lot of uh, different rules for epic stuff. Yeah. Um, and uh, we we played it completely wrong, and it probably took way too long. And then I was just playing scum, so I didn't even have an epic ship at the time. Right. So I just had like thirty star vipers right. on the board and a ton of M three A's. So it took like you know fifteen to twenty minutes to like just move one one side of the board. That's awesome. Yeah. Let's see. What's something else we can pull here? I just, I really want, I want to practice using this. <laughs> We're practicing. Uh, let's see. What what could you... Um, I got one. Uh, while you do that, I'm going to go get another update. Yeah, we'll get, we'll, we'll get an update here. 
Actually, I'll just get a poll ready for, for the final. We'll get the, the names of our finalists in there. And um, once we have the matchup, we'll get that be the, have that ready. We're going to go ahead and take a break. We'll put our uh, we'll wait for this update and then we'll we'll take a little uh, take a little break here. Get up on some caffeine. Hey Jesper, how's it going, buddy? How are things going over there? All right. Uh, so ID um, has full shields on Corin. Mm -hmm. um, uh, his Fen is dead. Okay. Um, the ghost uh, is down to one hull. Um, and uh, he ju and ID just double tapped. Okay. Um, and and I'm assuming Zeb is probably going to pop out this turn. Probably. Uh, well, may I mean maybe not because he knows he can't uh, he can't shoot next turn. Okay, it's, it's your chance. Yeah. So this is your chance to possibly get you go really fast and double tap, um, and uh, and try and get some damage in before you eject the shuttle. So we might be getting ID in, in the mind. It depends. It's it's close. I would say that it's maybe leaning sixty forty. It, yeah, it's, it's like a. 60, yeah, well, because that's the thing is, if he can, if ID can, um, uh, can get the final, the final kill shot on the ghost, mm -hmm. um, you're going to. I mean, I don't think there's any way that that Zeb could pull that out, right? Um, just because uh, one, I like, Corin just hits so hard mm -hmm. and he's so defensive, um, and then he has regen on top of it. So unless uh, this next turn he can get all the shields down, right? And then you know, you know, it's 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 a tough win condition for sure. So the yeah probably sixty maybe seventy thirty yeah I'd say all right all right there's still there's still some room for error still in there still some room for error yeah. so I figure well, let's take a break and uh, we'll be back for the final we'll we have you. thirty two minutes left on the clock but if this game finishes early they'll just start it up they'll yeah. just start it up so I'll see what I, how am I gonna write this on the wait screen you'll see it you'll see me typing I'll see you guys in a minute.